Hello guys and welcome to Base Watches. Watches have been getting bigger in recent years. This fashion trend has been good news if you have a larger wrist, but if your wrist is more on the slimmer side, it's become difficult to find a properly fitting watch. As it usually does, the market has already started to adjust, with plenty of small-wristed folks looking for luxury watches watchmakers have delivered. Here are some great new watch options for small wrists, along with some older options that never went away. So without further ado, let's get started. The Namus Club Ref 7136mm is an elegant and understated watch that exudes quality and craftsmanship. The 36mm case size is perfect for those who prefer a more discreet look, and the watch sits comfortably on the wrist. The silver dial is clean and easy to read with applied indexes and thin hands. The design is minimalistic with no date function which lends it a clean and timeless appearance. The in-house Nomos Alpha manual winding movement is precise and reliable, and provides a power reserve of 43 hours. The leather strap is comfortable and adds to the overall classic look of the watch. The case is made of stainless steel and is water-resistant to 30 meters. The movement inside the Nomos Club 701.1 is still the brand's hand-wound in-house Alpha caliber. It has a 43-hour power reserve and 17 joules, and it runs at a 21,600 vibrations per hour frequency. In addition, the brown Horween genuine shell cord of van leather with red stitching is the same as the one on the original 701. I think it's a shame that Nomos doesn't offer any watches under 1,000 euros anymore, but looking at the watch market as a whole, I think the brand is still asking a fair price for its products. The Rolex Explorer has been around for decades, but what you might not know is that it spent most of its existence as a 36mm watch. In the 2000s, in line with a broader shift to larger watches, Rolex switched the Explorer to a 39mm case. The 36mm Explorer looks a lot like the classic version, but there are some key differences. For one thing, it uses the same case as the 36mm Rolex Oyster Perpetual, which is just a smidge under 36mm. The lugs also look different with a slight curve and a brushed pattern that matches the last link in the stainless steel bracelet. The lugs are also slightly narrower than the original Explorer's at 19mm rather than 20mm. The bezel on the Explorer eye is also slopped instead of domed, lending it a different appearance to the Oyster Perpetual. Rolex continues the expansion of their 32 series of in-house movements here with the dateless caliber 3230 first seen in the reference 124,060 Submariner. The 32x caliber movements have been slowly replacing the legendary 31 series movements since 2015, with the caliber 3255 first appearing in the day date. All of the above aside, when it comes down to it, this is a pretty simple watch in use. There are no complications, no frivolous details, no embellishments, just three hands and a dial. The Longines Heritage Classic Sector Dial 385M also has a 60-second subfuel in lieu of a second hand. Its gray dial is divided into quarters by a black crosshair with steel blue hour and minute hands that meet in the center. Around the outside is a black painted index on a silver rank with Arabic numerals at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. The beauty of these modern vintage-inspired watches is also about contemporary technical solutions and the pleasure of having a retro-designed watch without the hassle of a vintage movement, and Longines is good at it. Inside the case is the automatic caliber L893, a movement made by ETA exclusively for Longines with a 3.5 Hz and a comfortable power reserve of 72 hours, which makes it a so-called weekend-proof watch, and there's a silicon hairspring too, meaning that you don't have to worry about magnetism. The 38.5mm case is made from stainless steel and is water-resistant to 30 meters. It is secured with a black calf leather strap. In conclusion, the Longines Heritage Classic Sector Dial 385mm is a captivating timepiece that successfully marries vintage aesthetics with modern functionality. This watch is an excellent choice for enthusiasts seeking a classic and versatile timepiece. In conclusion, the Zenith Chronomaster Original El Primero 38mm is a captivating timepiece that pays homage to the brand's illustrious history and technical prowess. The Tudor Black Bay 58 39mm is the size you might expect. 39mm. This might seem to be pushing it for a small watch, but the rotating dive bezel is very wide. This makes for a relatively small dial that's perfect for smaller wrists. The watch is only 11.9 mm thick, just a touch thicker than its brother the modern Submariner, and it has 20 mm lugs and stainless steel construction. 
It's water resistant to 200 meters, so it's safe for any aquatic activities. It secures with a tri-link stainless steel strap with far rivets and a backwards opening clasp. This watch's black dial is truly iconic. It has large circular loom markers at the 5 minute positions, with rectangular markers at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock and a triangle at 12 o'clock. The copper hands are loom filled, with a fat diamond block near the end of the hour hand. The movements come in two flavors, a smaller 54 series and a larger 56 series. These movements feature Rolex's silicon hairspring and microstell adjusted balance wheels, yet the two movements are quite different internally. The steel bracelet on the Tudor Black Bay 58 is exceptional. Tudor has engineered the tolerances for the solid end links to fit perfectly between the lugs while still allowing easy removal. In conclusion, the Tudor Black Bay 5839mm is a standout timepiece that reflects Tudor's commitment to creating exceptional watches with a strong emphasis on design and functionality. The Zenith Chronomaster or Original Alt Primero 38mm has an attractive brushed stainless steel case with a soft gray cowhide strap. But what really makes this dial pop is the tricolored subdials, which sit on a plain white primary dial. The dial is surprisingly large for the size of the watch, thanks to an ultra-narrow bezel. This makes the pushers and crown appear very prominent, providing some retro appeal. Meanwhile, you get the benefit of a 60-hour power reserve that will last for more than a weekend. Turning the watch over you'll discover the modern caliber El Primero 3600 shared with the Chronomaster Sport. This is where the concept of best of both worlds comes to life. While the habilage of the Chronomaster original is all about the late 1960, the movement is true to the concept of innovation behind Zenith. Still using the same base as that historic movement, it has been radically updated to meet modern standards. Taking full advantage of the 36,000 vibrations per hour regulation, it has also been made more efficient, as the power reserve has been increased to 60 hours.